So America, what's up? Chef John, get a gourmet show. We're making Manhattan clam chowder today. Um, I'm finishing up some mirepoix. How y'all doing? Happy New Year, it's New Year's Eve. And um, I totally forgot I knew you got this New Year's Eve party at my church. So um, I've been wanting to make this. I have all the prep for it. So right here, mirepoix, I got a lot of carrot, onion, celery. Um, I got my creamy bacon fat. I got one thing of baby clams. Oh, right in the butter. <laughs> um, another thing of clams and the thing of clam juice. And I'm also using Hunt's tomatoes, so I know that's a decent product. And we're going to put bacon fat in the bottom. And I got some bacon down here on deck. All right. And, the, and then I got my potatoes already diced up in cold water. So we're ready to go. All right. So the idea here, this is a, um, a, a tomato-based stock. It's a clear stock. Um, the, I mean, it's a clear soup in the sense that it's not a cream soup. And um, I think he's a little bit more of that. Done freeze a big roll of it. Well, anyways, so um, so the idea here is that you want to cook the potatoes and simmer the potatoes. So we're gonna start with the. Let me back. Go to the beginning. All right, here's the beginning. We turn this kind of on high. <laughs> we take some bacon fat. I've had a lot of music in my head lately. Running and feel better from that month of CrossFit intensity training. I, I, I yeah, I had I had a nice groove going on that Christmas thing. I just loaded that the other day. I finally got back. All right, so the bacon goes in there, and then um, we're gonna let that cook down a little bit because there's a lot of fat pieces in there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, add my mirepoix. And let uh, cook my mirepoix for a little bit and saute. And um, I'm not fixing another light again right now. My kitchen's a mess, but I want to bring some to church. And... I keep finding stuff in the dumpster that's better than my stuff, man. I got a new colander and whatnot. <laughs> I found this hardwood dresser. I had an old particle wood dresser that was holding, barely holding together. And I found this, it just threw a hardwood dresser out. I'm like, yeah, I'm on that. Threw my old, folded my old junk up. Folded it up, you know what I mean? Do a stack. <laughs> All right, that's on. All right, we have flour. So we're gonna create a roux with this. Uh, um, but we're not gonna go for a really thick roux. We're gonna actually go for a thin roux, uh, or, or, or a thin soup. So, um. The roux is just to bring it together just a hair, all right? Um, it's not, it's not, you would do it more in a cream soup. But I want to bring the soup together just a little bit. Actually, um, maybe I'll use cornstarch slurry instead. I like that idea better. about an ounce or a tablespoon in here, a tablespoon and a half. I can never find my can opener. All right. All right, we just want to work that a little bit, all right? 
See that? I'm just getting that working. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. I'm going to find my can opener. Because that's pretty important at this point. Part of the process. If I've got to get into the can, you know, I can do it the old school way, but I'm... Another second until all the, all the fat is pretty crisped up. Here's my can opener right on. Start getting all these pans open. All right, and I don't add the clams until last because I want the clams, uh, the clams cook really fast and become tough. So you add them at the very end and just bring them to temperature and then shut it down. But I want the clam juice. So as I open the cans, I try to be careful because the juice is what I want and all right I'm going to add the mirepoix now so I did my my numbers turned it in uh, senior and disabled because of SSD and they handle my my food stamps and my medical and I'm, I'm still officially the ghetto gourmet man I mean I have like uh, $30 to my name a month or something like that and I'm already I'm over budget by like $20 so that no garlic Oof. God, ran out of Old Bay, so I gotta kind of mock, mock, mock it a little bit. Bring a little chipotle, garlic. And, um, and this is just, we're just sauteing this in the pan until it comes, until the onions get clear. They're almost there. Okay. I can worry more about spicing once I have everything in there. And I get it ready to go. So open a clam juice. Two clams, two cans to go. Alright. And then our can of tomato sauce. So I got a nice thing going on there, nice flavor, uh, um, aroma coming off there. And this is such a simple soup, it really is. We're going to take our clam juice and put it right in there, okay, and leave the clams in the thing, same with this one. Clean juice. Okay. And tomato. And now it's going to start slurry. you have is you already have the, the base of your soup here okay see all that went in all that clam juice and that um, canned tomato all right 
Now we could use chunk tomato in here if we wanted. That's a, that's a nice way of uh, making this soup more elegant. Um, and now I'm putting all the diced potatoes in there. And we're gonna crank this up a little bit. I had a couple of potatoes I want to make fries on. No, probably that will never probably happen. Yeah. Let's see how much this is. pretty much it. Uh, um, I hit it with a little Tabasco. Um, I'm going to simmer the potatoes until they're soft. I uh, you know, cooked all the way through and um, if I had Old Bay I'd be seasoning with Old Bay. We're trying to mock Old Bay. Um, so I garlic, paprika, celery seed, um, salt, pepper, um, this is tomato product, so we're going to need some sugar in there. This, all the sugar I got is raw sugar. Get down the end. All right. And then, definitely some Tabasco. Quick, let's start writing names of these things on there. I have so many, you guys seen how many stuff I have. All right, well, anyways, dash shall we see like a half a teaspoon because that's an old bay, and um, we got garlic powder here. A little bit more of that in there. And just plain old pepper. It's black pepper. Alright. It's already starting to simmer. And one thing we haven't done yet is um, salt it. Now, the clam juice is a little salty, so we're going to hold back a little bit. We can give her a try right now if I got a clean spoon in the house. I do. I get a hand. Tiny soup spoon. It needs a little bit more heat. The fat is right on. The, all the flavors are really right on. It just needs a little bit. And once put the clams in, that will add more to it. Here, rinse that. Mm -hmm. One spoon I got. So, gonna end down. Uh, I turned this up real high, and now I'm gonna turn it down and let it slow simmer on medium. Keep an eye on it. Make sure I move it when I need to. All right. And um, that's pretty much it, man. Um, I said more heat. So we can we go with some of this smoky Cajun stuff from um, from Winko. That'll, that'll give it a nice little interesting nip. We'll put a teaspoon of that in there. Yeah. I'll be like, yeah, wow. Surprise to the whole. I like that stuff a lot. 
But I've been learning not to overuse it. Things you like a lot, you overuse them, you know. So, but as backup flavors, sometimes they're really excellent. Like the my, I use a lot of paprika and cilantro or chipotle and peppers in different forms, and onions and stuff and, and garlic, and a lot of it's backup flavor. I like that. Let's get a little bit more sink. That's where I wanted to. All right, Chef John, get it going. Uh, Boston clam chowder. Not New England style. That's white. This is red. Boston clam chowder. Peace.